Okay, this Paulina Corpus is one of the candidates for the Toronto Catholic District School Board. Paulina? Hi, I'm Paulina Corpus and I'm running for school trustee for the Toronto Catholic District School Board. I am a longtime resident of Ward 12, a parent, a mother who has children in the Catholic school. I am also an active parishioner of the St. Dunstan Parish, serving as a liturgical ministry volunteer. I am a social justice advocate supporting causes and organizations that improve the plight of our brethren who are marginalized and oppressed. So is, is there a reason for choosing the Catholic District School Board over the regular school board? Yes, definitely. Uh, my choice is running for the Catholic school because I believe that I needed to um, improve the uh, performance of our students in the Catholic schools and also to ensure that education nurtures the Catholic, our Catholic faith that reflects our Catholic social teaching, which right now I believe is not very, very uh, strong in our Catholic schools. So that goes to your uh, plan if you're elected as a, as a trustee, what do you intend to do? As if I am elected as a trustee, my, my main focus really is to ensure that uh, the, the Catholic faith is strengthened in our Catholic school and in its education to make sure that our children will have a strong Catholic identity and that their education will instill in them moral values that our Catholic um, community should, should have so that they will become adults that are responsible, discerning, and contributing um, citizens of our society. So, Paulina, you're running in Ward 12 of the Catholic, Toronto Catholic District School Board. Uh, what is Ward 12, actually? Yes, uh, Ward 12 is in Scarborough. Scarborough basically is in the, on the east side of Toronto, but it's part of Toronto. And the ward where I am running is um, composed of four city wards, wards 35, 36, which is southwest of uh, Scarborough, which is nearer than the nearer to, to Toronto than the two other uh, wards, which is Ward 38 and Ward 43. They are more eastern part of uh, Scarborough, and it covers a wi wide area. It covers 20 schools, three high schools. One is located in Victoria Park, which is more west of Scarborough. One is located on the eastern, eastern part, which is on the military trail, the Blessed John Paul mm -hmm. School. And then we have in the middle the Cardinal Newman, which is in the, the Bluffs area near the lakeshore. Uh, there are 17 elementary schools located in that uh, four city wards. And in my research, based on Toronto Catholic District School Board um, website, the 17 elementary schools, when I averaged their um, standardized testing, the standardized testing may basically measures the reading, writing, and arithmetic, the three R's, of uh, grade three and grade six. I found out that uh, they are below the board average marks. And that is one thing that I wanted to focus if I win as trustee in Ward 12. So how, how big is the, your ward in terms of you know, the number of voters or the number of Filipino voters? You know? In Ward 12, basically, um, well, I don't have a, a scientific survey of the population. My estimate, there are about 20,000 voters, Catholic voters. We have to dis differentiate between the public and the Catholic. Uh, Catholic voters are those who allocated their taxes to support Catholic schools. And there are about more than 20,000 located in, in Y12. And based on the information I got from Toronto Catholic District School Board, Filipinos are 10% of the student population. So a student population is um, based on the languages spoken at home. So if the children spoke English as their first language, they wouldn't be counted as a 
in the Filipino um, population. I also wanted to reach out to our uh, communities that are not Filipinos because as a Catholic school and a person who's Catholic, um, my goal is really to serve everyone, not just the Filipinos. But it is also good to, be, to have a, a solid foundation in my own community before I reach out to people. And one of the things I wanted to do if I win as trustee is to bring together all parish, family, and community stakeholders to harness their, their um, potential and their energy to help our children in um, succeeding in, in school and in their academics, as well as strengthen their spiritual formation as Catholic Christians. So how do you plan to you know, implement your programs once you're elected as a trustee? If I'm elected as a trustee, one of the things I want to do is to communicate more at the grassroots level to increase the visibility of the trustee to attend um, the, the, the Catholic school advisory council, at least one in every school to consult with them more about critical matters that impact on their um, children's education and to allow them to give feedback and to, to uh, provide more input for me to bring to the, the school board uh, decision table because I believe um, in bringing the voice of my ward to the decision-making body of the Toronto School. It's time for a change. So on October 27, 2014, I would like to ask your support to vote for me to become the next trustee of Y12. But before that, I would like you to go to the voterlookup.ca to ensure that you are an eligible voter of Toronto and that you are a Catholic support voter by confirming that you have allocated your property taxes to the Catholic school board and in the MPAC website that would be English separate school board. So up now and go to your computers and open your website and make sure you are an eligible voter and a Catholic support uh, voter. Thank you. <laughs>